All right. I guess. Can you guys see me? Testing, testing, testing. Can you guys hear me? Just write uh, something in the comments if you can actually hear me. I had a bit of an issue with the sound, so hopefully now that thing is resolved. Let's see. All right. I guess you can hear me. All right. Welcome back to our, what is this? The 15th, 16th? Yeah, the 16th live stream about the modeling of this here bar that we started off uh, well, ages ago. Now, this is basically where we stopped uh, in the previous uh, stream. We created the top uh, here, the balcony. We placed up some of the elements at the bottom, uh, created a new door opening here with the door, the one that we were using for the front. And we, we were going to start uh, working on the second floor. Oh, yeah, we uh, also worked a bit on the actual stairs here. So now I want to well, actually, you know what, while I'm here, what I can do is uh, just make sure that this side has these glasses as well. So just uh, pull this thing to this side as a copy and then just make it so it's uh, center to center. The X, Y, and Z. Actually, no, you know what? Let's go and make it pivot point to pivot point. That way it's not going to change anything like that. So now when I select the original, if I move it out of the way, ah, it's going to be a problem that way. Okay. I guess I did not select the actual glasses for everything. So one, two, three. And this one, and now copy it over here and place it to the right position. Move this thing aside, and again, all right, so I'm gonna work that way. So just uh, move this alone, like that. Select this thing, delete, uh, get this thing, and damn it, let's move it back because it is as such. Thing. Oh, that's why this is kind of screwed up. This is just a plane now. All right, so what we can do is select all of these and then apply a shell. Now we have some uh, actual depth to the windows here. So they, they have some thickness to them. All right, so now we have nice looking windows for the outside which in this case might be a bit of an issue as they are not flush. So let's quickly readjust that on the Z. There we go, that's fine there. Flush it down there as well. Yeah, good enough. I'm also, once I'm finished with this, I'm probably going to ha have to go in and put something uh, around the corners that's going to hold those windows. Uh, come to think of it, I'm going to have to do something for these guys as well. So, that's going to be things to do. All right, now. Oh, by the way, hey to everybody uh, that's watching. Uh, Thing, Surab, Gustavo. Everybody that said hi, hi, hello back. All right, so uh, this is what I had in mind now. Uh, in the previous uh, stream, once we actually put this door here, and just open it up. Mm, windows and doors, there we go. Once we put this uh, door in here, what actually happens is that the inner side for this lower part it's now starting to get a bit crowded because uh, with that door, there's going to be an entrance to the outside. This here is uh, a bit in the way because nobody would like to sit uh, here when the door is going to be opened like 
all the time and that would suck for whoever's sitting here and if i just remove that table what would happen is we're gonna have like a really really weird uh setup so what i'm uh thinking about doing is taking all of these guys putting them on the second floor and then for, uh, as for seating i just want to get some uh, sort of seating that's going to be near the wall so let's see how that thing is going to look like so i'm going to select everything here i'm probably going to end up even moving our uh, guy that's like just like chilling and sitting on the actual table so let's go that thing that thing and that thing Select your chilling guy and do the left thing and move it all the way up on the second floor. Now, for this thing, I should probably just uh, make it so that I'm not seeing the walls. All right, so new walls and Oh. Alright, that's fine. I just check and see which. Oh, the bar walls. Alright. And I don't need the windows or the doors. Hide those. The balcony is really not needed as well. So now I can see better inside my bar. So select everything here. Deselect everything that we don't actually need. Like that and just put it around to the back I guess or to the back very nice good slide it until it touches the ground like that but I can see that my seats are actually a bit higher than my table so what I'm gonna do is uh, deselect all of my tables and just slightly move this thing downwards until it touches the ground like that and what happens is now we have some tables up on this uh, second floor and in here since I do have an actual door coming to the balcony here, a sliding door. And in this place, I have a, quite a bit of uh, space. I can probably even move uh, this table, either delete it or move it a bit uh, to the side. But in here, I can put a pool table or some darts or something like here. But darts would be very unadvisable because, well, this is where you would pass to and get to the second floor and I can just imagine that would be uh, trouble waiting to happen somebody's throwing darts and you just walk in and you get a dart in the eye and so no probably not going to be any darts but uh, a pool table here would actually be very preferable so let me see how this thing would work out all right so I do like this so we can stick with these uh, tables in here. Oh, no, no. Deselect those, deselect that. All right, deselect those guys. Move them a bit to the side here. I guess just so everybody's not so cramped. And the second floor is half populated without actually having to remodel or do a, uh, additional modeling for stuff. Now, uh, for here, I do want to add in a uh, pool table. Let me check something. I know that in the past, I have uh, actually modeled a billiard table, but wait a second, did I have an NDA for this or not? I think this was like what 
two years ago, a year ago, doesn't matter. All right, let me at least check out the size for the pool table. I'm gonna merge this file. Oh, snap, I think I have this thing in a hidden file or not. All right, it's not, it's fine. All right, so at least I can check this thing for size, if nothing else. So this is a full table of models, like how long time ago? A few years ago, but it's more or less in tune with what we need. Okay, that's fine. So if I rotate this thing, uh, 90 degrees around like so it's gonna have ample space to walk around it to play you can just like uh, hit the pool thing the yeah, this is gonna be it's gonna be okay I guess or maybe it would be better if I take all the tables and move those tables uh, over to this side, like that, and get the pool table to move on the other side. This way, the pool table is actually not in the way of anybody else, like so. And you still have plenty of uh, room to walk around and do whatever you need to do. So I guess this would be a better look for the, at least for the second side. So let me quickly take this and create a new layer and call this full table. All right, so for now, I'm actually gonna leave this as it is, but I'm gonna uh, go ahead and model a different uh, model because uh, this one is not so much in tune with this uh, scene. And plus I want to have a scene in which I'm gonna model everything that I use uh, in here. So let's just select those guys and remove the material. Material equals undefined. There we go. No longer have the material to it. Give it a different color, go something like that. I want to do the same thing for this here. So material equals undefined. There we go. All right. So for my second floor, I pretty much have a okay setup. Now for the lower part. I do want to have hmm, some seating that's going to be next to the actual wall. So what I had in mind was either something like this or something like this. And actually, if I take a look at this, I can see that this thing ends uh, at an actual uh, wall. So we can have a midpoint where this thing is going to be the midpoint should be if I take this thing and basically split it in two. All right, let's go ahead and check this thing. See how big that thing is going to be then. So just take the box. And holy crap. I got it so close, but let's try with about 600. Right, so six meters would be Okay, so six meters means uh, I can have two seatings that are gonna be about three meters uh, uh, in length. And we're still gonna have some place, place that you can like walk around, which is gonna be okay. 
I'm, when I'm doing this thing, I'm actually thinking as to how this thing would react if I decide to go ahead and put it in Unreal. Because with the bounding boxes and collision boxes, uh, I do want to have ample space to actually move. Otherwise, we, we might actually end up with a problem where it, the character would not be able to move around here. And we want to make we want to make sure that this thing is going to be uh, not just pretty looking, but actually uh, functional. So, yeah, we got that thing. All right, let's add in uh, some size for this. So, a nice block, a terminator. Welcome to the stream. So the height is not really important. I want to have 2.5 and a half meters. Okay. All right, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the bounding box for whatever the hell we want to do. I'm going to put this thing to. One. Okay. Yeah, it's way too, way, 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 way too high. So let me see something. Something mm. high. Uh, I have used AutoCAD. I'm not a, a big fan of it. I actually used it back in college, so it's been ages since I've done that. Not even goddammit. Excuse me. Seat is about 460 millimeters, so 46 centimeters, and the table height is about 760-76. Okay, so that means I get one box that's going to be the same size uh, at 46. And the second one is going to be another box for the height for the table, which is going to be 76. But here's the thing. This seating. Well, actually, you know what? This is taken off from the floor. I guess this is called a high seating. So let's go ahead and uh, check that thing because if I, oh, actually I don't have to check it. If I put, uh, what is this, like 30 centimeters off the base. So if I put 30 centimeters there, that means I just uh, go ahead and on top of this thing, on the height, I go plus 30, so 106, for seating and 76. So, all right, seating and table. Cool. Now add in two more edges. Connect two edges. This edge will get to there. This edge will get to there. All right, so now I have my a guideline to tell me at least how big this thing is supposed to be. Alright, so make it blue so you can see it better. Cool. Now the real question is, do I really want this thing to be this uh, long? Because if I check my uh, seating image here, I can see that it's really not that long. Or maybe it is. Hmm. Alright, nothing too bad. It's actually very, very similar to what we have on 
this side. It just doesn't have all of those uh, turns here or uh, that quilting. Nice right, cool. All right, then the first thing that I do is uh, I'm gonna make a box for the bo uh, the bottom, and that box is gonna be. This thing is going to be 30 centimeters. So this bounding is going to have another edge. Hey Gustavo, hey Jeff. Uh, connect. Oh, no, no, don't connect, just connect with one. Like that. Okay. So now what I can do is instead of going ahead and modeling everything from scratch, I can just get around here grab uh, whatever uh, that selection is, detach as a clone, it's fine. Now, deselect that because I will not need it. Isolate just this thing and remove that. Okay, that's actually fine. I want to chamfer this uh, at what a how thick is the wall let me like 30 30 should be fine if it's not I'm actually gonna check out and see where this thing goes and if I can actually use this thing on the same uh... oh yes I can you see this thing goes in turn with what I have up here so I can make it so it looks like this is support for the second floor, which is gonna be nice. Nice, nice, very nice. Uh, dude, I started off streaming on Twitch, but uh, a lot of people said that uh, for some reason, Twitch is not allowed in their uh, country. So I switched over to YouTube, but I still do upload my uh, videos up on Twitch as well. I do have in, um, in mind to start actually uh, streaming on Twitch for just you know, regular model modeling uh, and keep the well the theme modeling for YouTube. Uh, the reason why I don't want to keep everything on YouTube is that I'm getting a bit of a feel like uh, the YouTube channel is starting like to to lack more tutorials, and I haven't had that much free time to make some more. And up until now, everything I've put in there was like educational, and this is more recreational uh, while being educational. So I might actually split it up, up a bit, you know? Hey, Shinoda. So hit a, hit a shell, and the shell should be SR30. Straight in corners. No, 30 is way too little, so let's try 50. Okay, that's fine. Remove that one. Edit poly. Extrude. All right, so now I'm gonna hide this thing. Oh no, I'm gonna highlight this. Ah, uh, yes, pretty much everything that I've put in here has been measured uh, and nothing has been just like thrown in everything should be the right height for use all right now uh, let's open up this thing and put this thing in the what is it the place holders yeah holders Actually work with 
Cool. So we have the sieving for this thing, which is actually more or less the right size. Do I have... Oh yeah, these guys are actually not on top of here, which is what I need. Nice. And that only means that I don't have to model a new table. What I can do is be very, very resourceful and just steal one from here. Now I'm going to have to play around with the height a bit. Uh, here's another thing. If you're gonna go with just instinct when you're modeling, somewhere down the road you're gonna run into trouble because things are gonna start looking out of tune. And when you measure something, uh, how do you mean I don't use uh, layers? Everything is put into layers. So just put the layer thing on the other screen so it's really not in the way but I do have everything split up into layers so I can actually manage the scene all right so that's actually fine but the height for this thing is not fine so let's uh, okay Let's go ahead and do this then. Move it over here like that. And then just now we have two folder element. All right, so now it's more starting to look like what we have here. But now once I have this, what I want to do is make sure that the height for this thing is right and the way that we're going to make this thing right with the height of that is starting to rhyme is getting this thing along with this thing so isolate them both and now wait a second what is it? oh snap Okay, I see. All right, so these two should be selected to go in par one and par one, and just make sure that they're starting both from the same height. And now select everything here and the top. I just want to move it to the Z to go over the height where the table is supposed to be at. So now, if we take a look at it from this side, we can see that this is the, the height for the table, and that's right. Now it's going to have the same uh, height that we actually going to need for this project. Okay, hide the holders. Cool. Do I have enough place to put two of these in here now? That's the question. I think I do have enough place. I don't have to make this thing go all the way out here because this is supposed to be a holding uh, or a support beam. So I just can go back here because this is not going to be an actual seat. So if uh, this is not a seat, I don't have to have anybody seated there. What can happen is instead of having two tables, I can just turn this thing around like that, move it to the center. Ah, damn it. No. Move it up on this side like that, and then just make it so. This thing can move on negative on the X, or let's try negative 30 on this side positive 30 cool so we have just one table for the entire seating here I 
to play around a bit with the length of these guys. Not that are a bit too long. Like that. And here is another thing that I just noticed. This thing is starting from the bottom of the grid instead of starting from the bottom of the actual floor. So on the Z, just move upwards. Go about there. There we go. Much better now. Visually, it's where it's supposed to be at. Really that thing, we don't need it. Okay, cool. Now it's starting to get somewhere. The back is fine. Okay, now the seat in this thing. I can see that the bottom here on the corner, it has some uh, lips that are actually metal. Even the, the base here is metal. So that shouldn't be hard to create. All I'm going to have to do is I just do this this way. Isolate just this thing. Select the edge. Select those edges, those edges, those edges. Lots of corner as well. Inside probably should have just started off with a ring selection and go from there, but yeah, it's fine. All right, so all of those selected uh, create a shape, a linear one, not a smooth one. I don't want to have to clean up that cluster. Grab so here, just call this metal corner. Corners. Okay. Select the newly created. Really? Did I just put this thing in a freaking added? Right. Okay. So the edible spline should go in my Okay, it's fine. Now, place holders, holders, I don't think. Okay, so now with uh, what I just created, make it renderable. Make it rectangular. And crap, we're gonna have to deal with the corner stuff. Ah, it doesn't matter. It's not a hard fix. Three centimeters, two centimeters, two by two. I'm gonna give it some nice. Nice. Yeah, man, sure. Avid, uh, Unreal 4. Mm, now, what I've seen is that a lot of uh, companies, they're starting to venture into Unreal. And uh, they're trying to find more and more people to, that have experience working with Unreal. And the problem here is that most of the people that are working in ArcBus, they come from architectural backgrounds. And Unreal is generally uh, a field that was uh, mostly, and still is, mostly one with people that are into gaming and you don't find a lot of uh, architects that have time for the gaming so now that they want to use uh, unreal they have a bit of an issue because they have to learn everything from start and what they generally do and i do say generally they run into some uh well not some but the most uh common issue or the problem and that is they are they start off with a very very different uh, idea as to what unreal is they think that they can know everything in unreal they can manage it but they start learning everything 
So what happens then is that they get overwhelmed. They start learning stuff that they're never going to need. And after a very short time, they get so frustrated, they leave and they never pick up Unreal, stating that Unreal is too hard for them. That is a lie. Unreal is a tool. And if you're only using it for what you need, you can get some pretty decent results. All right, so we have that sitting in there at the bottom. Yeah, all of this here is really gonna be covered up with materials. So it's really not gonna be an issue. Hey, Norman, hey, Polly, welcome to the stream. Now, let me see if I can get away from, from being lazy from this thing. If I can just, ah, hell no, I cannot do that thing because these are too thick. God damn it, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get out of this one. I won't be able to be lazy. I have to actually do this thing. All right, okay, I'll do it. So, edit poly. Mm -hmm. Extrude. <laughs> uh, when you're learning new stuff into one particular software, it can be a daunting uh, task. So, yeah, it's always a good idea to. Yeah, fudge. Really, this is this is how much this thing is gonna go over my head for. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna be like that. Fine, I'll be like that. Visually, it's not gonna be visible. So who gives a crap? So like that thing. Delete. Move this thing all the way up like that. Voila! We fixed it. Oh, I just figured something out. If I make this table this long, I want to run into a big problem. People are not going to be able to go, from, go in from there. Damn it. Okay. Uh, minus 10. And 10. Wonderful. Oh, very good. So now I do have uh, this piece over here, which is going to be a nice support for a second floor. I just have to figure one thing. Do I have a window in here? If I do have a window, I might actually have to remove it. So let's see. Do I have a ah! Damn it! Fine, I will fix it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when you're working without actually following a blueprint. Uh, you run into problems which shouldn't happen, but they happen because, well, you decided to go half cocked and just uh, make stuff up while you're going at it. So, yeah. <sighs> All right, so. Not walls? No, no, not walls. More walls. Mm -hmm. There you go. But luckily for us, I'm really good at uh, improvising. So, oh, oh, look. Like that. And there we go. Now we have no window at that place. Ah, dude. <laughs> When you start working for clients and they come to you, you're gonna get blueprints, but rarely are they gonna be uh, actual bl blueprints. Most of the times, especially if you're working on a smaller project, most of the times those blueprints are either gonna be hand-drawn or they're gonna be created in something like paint or they're gonna be totally out of uh, size. 
So you're gonna be stuck with a bit of an issue if you're trying to follow that thing, or you might actually even have to recreate that thing from scratch, just so everything is in the uh, straight uh, or the right size. I've had clients that have given me uh, blueprints for something that they wanted, uh, they wanted to create it, but that thing was made on a napkin. So yeah, you have to manage most of the times. But if you're gonna, if you're working with a company and they have an actual architect working on that thing, oh, oh boy, they're gonna give you some uh, DWGs files with uh, like. Elect, uh, electrics and plumbing plants and pretty much everything so you're gonna have to know how to clean that thing up and you're gonna have to know how to read that thing first so yeah that, that's fun as well especially for someone who has never done it if you're just starting out oh boy it's gonna be fun all right so we get this thing now let's go ahead and create this so we have one, two, and this thing is really not that hard to create. All right, so we go like this. I'm gonna put it on this side so I can actually see what I'm doing. Cool, okay. So let's start off with a simple box. On the start here. So up and down there is so, Alright, so 30 centimeters is gonna be fine. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking about the sweep modifier, just make it with a spline and then uh, make it uh, follow a line. We'll see. We'll see in a second. All right, let's let's try with the sweep. Let's see how that thing is gonna look like. So, for the sweep, the easiest way to do this thing, I guess, would be make this thing into a rectangular. So to about there, and turn off owner. Turn off that thing. Uh, control spline. Turn off spline. Delete those two. Get that thing here. Fill it so I get a nice transition there. Now that's fine. Out of here, I can just do this and cheat a bit. Create a shape linear. Shape, that's fine. Now uh, save before I do anything else. Oh, I see the Turkish people have arrived. It's every stream there is a different uh, language being spoken today i guess it's turkish last time it was russian so we're learning stuff all right so sweep sweep sweep, sweep. Nice. Uh -huh. no not big i'll just pick Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. the name of that um damn it what the hell uh what was the name of the modifier that makes you just like select one uh thing and get, uh, lets you select a 
shape. What was it? Damn it. That's sweep. And the other one was. Mm. I just know. Loft. There you go. Loft. Thing you want in here, I guess. Yeah, loft. There we go. Choose get bath. All right. Awesome. This is gonna work. I like you guys. Jeff starts. It's not sweep. It's loft. Avan, you get the five bucks. Jeff, shame on you. You need to start speaking Russian so you'll break up the Turkish that we have running. <laughs> uh. All right. So. Okay, now we have, this is actually fine for now. Mm -hmm. So I have one that is fine. I just need to get, I'm going to actually keep this uh, shape. So I'm just going to make one up here, another one, just make it a copy. And this one is gonna be, wait, so was this thing supposed to be bigger? Yeah, this is supposed to be a bit bigger. Wait a second, something's wrong. Oh, no, it's not. Actually, it's not wrong at all. If you're gonna be creating stuff that's gonna have a really soft look to it, you really want to take a look into modeling with uh, Mario Bros. Designer. So get those two to move upwards like that. So another loft, another get path, another click here. This time around though, for this loft, before you anything else to it, I'm gonna select those two splines and fillet them around. Like that. Now let's check this thing, because I don't really wanna have those sharp corners there, but that's fine. So just need to make one more for this side. Yeah, see what Freddy just said. Look, uh, look at tutorials by Artem Bugolov. Uh, he's got some really nice tutorials about how to do it. Even though the ones that he posts that are about 15 to 20 minutes, or actually not 15, it's like 12 uh, uh, minutes. They're they're like a speed run through everything that he's doing. I think he's got he's got uh, full on tutorials that go on for like all of those tutorials that you see him doing like ten minutes. That's like really sped up and uh, really edited. It boils down to about six or five to seven hours of modeling. So yeah. Okay, so one more shape. It's gonna be up this thing here and in this case this thing is gonna go even further upwards it's gonna have a really different look so move it this thing downwards a bit make it so it has a busy corner really Seriously. Ah, damn it. Wow. <sighs> Fine. Of course, you're not going to work now. 
find on reset x form. Convert to a spline. Z corner. I'll just go on the goddamn Z. What? The you know what? No? Okay. I know how to play the game. Here, just fill it. So we got a nice turn there, turn there. Now, okay, we do have uh, this. That thing, another loft. You get path. Boom. All right. So the modifier of the day, the loft. Skin parameters. Uh, do we have? No, that's fine. Transform the race. Transform the That's actually fine. The quality here is as path. There we go. Don't need that much geometry here. Now, the path steps. Okay. This is going to be enough. The seating is fine in there. So, the only thing that I. Oh, wait a second. Come to think of this thing, come to look at it, actually, you can see that this thing in the back has a bit of a. <laughs> The backrest goes all the way down, so this thing needs to be smaller. But here's the positive thing about working with loft is that it's very uh, manageable. So if I just move this thing, everything is going to move with it. Like that. And that is really nice. But these colors. I like so we need to be very gray. Uh, okay, I just saw this in texturing in Substance Painter. Yes, dude. Uh, when I do my textures, I do them in Substance uh, Painter, as I do think that is the fastest way to do textures. If you have a good PC and you have a really distaste for yourself, or better yet, you uh, hate yourself, and you want to have uh, um, Photoshop crash in you, you can always play with Quixel because Quixel is an amazing tool as well. It has a lot of good textures into it, but for God some reason, it really hates me. Whenever I try to play around with Pixel, it keeps crashing in me. And no, I don't, I don't do Quixel. All right, so what do I have to play first? Water time. Oh yeah. What do we have now? Uh, we were working on this thing. Oh, uh, as a clarification, so far we have just the base uh, shapes. When we come over here, we can actually see that we have some piping on the corner, so we're gonna have to go in and actually uh, play around with this model. Because essentially it's gonna stay like this. This is a nice start. It's gonna help us not have to model everything uh, scratch, but yeah. All right, so here we just need to do this one more rectangle, rectangle like that, and uh, universities. I'm not sure. I know that uh, one of the 
best uh, places where you can learn stuff. What was, it, what was the name? Um, Gnomon School. Yeah. So just to make sure we move upwards. It's called Gnomon, or how do you pronounce it? Okay, so now I want to refine this thing, just put one guy in here. So when I move this thing back, like that, that is for everything else. There we go. Uh, Gnomon is more or less uh, aimed at uh, creating you know, stuff for games. But every time you create something and then you go control Z, Max will crash. Uh, good thing is that in 99% of, uh, of the time, Max will keep a back uh, a backup uh, file for you. And in 99% of the times, it's not corrupted. In that 1% of the time, it's Max telling you to go yourself. Let's just hope it's not one of those 1% times. Okay. Nah, th this is not pro. It's... This is one of the most known uh, uh, bugs in Max. And uh, a lot of people had uh, like reported this thing on the forums. And the official Max uh, response for that thing is, we know about it. So yeah. Ah, All right, uh, I'm going to take one minute of a break and I will be right back. All right, back. And no, I did not go to rage scream. <laughs> Just had to turn off some of the uh, things that can actually buzz, like my phone and stuff. I had to put it on silent. And uh, uh, usually before I start streaming, I put everything on silent because I've had either like people ring me up or messages popping up. So I don't want to have, have to deal with that thing while I'm streaming. So yeah. 
anyways, I was continuing. Uh, I, the only thing that I just did is I opened up the recovery and I just opened up a new uh, or saved up a new version here. So it, I'm not working on the recovery uh, element. <sighs> All right, so where were we? We were on the compound loft. So now I get that, click there. Oh, snap. Okay, issue. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, be like that. It's only gonna mean that I'm gonna have to reduce my surface parameters. Uh, no, no, no. Some parameters, yeah. Now we have the right amount of edges. For some reason this thing is not going all the way back. I don't know why. Simply because I guess it crashed and it likes to use things in a weird way. So I did on top of that thing. So that everything and just manually put the fix it. Uh, I love Murphy. Murphy's law of things to happen. If something can go wrong, something will go wrong. Everything was going just fine until this crash. Now something gets screwed up. So I have to do this thing manually and move uh, these guys back manually and whatever. Uh, by the way, somebody asked if uh, you have to do unwrapping before you go to uh, Substance Painter. Yes, you do. Uh, here's what you need to understand. Uh, you can get away without actually doing a lot of uh, the unwrapping when you're working uh, for the rendering because you can just uh, go in and drop some uh, general like UVW map on top of this and call it a box or whatever and it's going to work when you're rendering but the problem arises when you actually want to start uh, painting stuff when you go into unwrap. Uh, shortcut for snap, S, and just S will toggle on and off for snap. All right, so for now, I'm actually happy with how this thing looks like. I know what you mean. That, that's not a uh, shortcut for snap. Uh, this is what happens. If I want to have this thing, for example, if it's all the way here and I want it to snap uh, to where this thing ends, what you do is you right click on the snaps, you go over in here where it says snap, you just put it on vertex or whatever you want to snap it to. Since I'm always snapping to vertices, I have this thing set up to vertex, so I clean it off. So now I click on the X axis, turn on S for snaps. So I just click on any of these uh, vertices that I want to move. And God damn it, just stop giving me the option to choose Z. There we go, click that thing. And now when I'm moving these vertices, yeah, there we go. I can just snap it over here. It gets flush with that vertex. So you have those two vertices snapped at the same length. I'm guessing that's what you were asking. Now, before I do that, let's just see if I can change this thing. Will it screw up my edit poly? Oh yes, this is gonna screw up my edit poly a lot. So that means, uh, Fine, just select 
that whole edge. Um, instead of making it really easy, I'm gonna have to make it chamfer and get put in some there we go, four edges in here like that. And then go like, yeah, boy. Oh, snap. What is it? So it's snap options. Enable access constraint to snap, snap, so frozen objects, putting the snaps. Oh, yeah. That happens as well. Uh, usually for the right click, you have a selection for like control and right click, you have uh, shift and right click, and you can even customize uh, how these menus look like. How do I change to wireframe mode? F3, F4. All right, so now just select those uh, three and that one. And just go and mirror this thing on the X as a copy. And this time around, just move this thing. There we go, like that. Oh, yeah, boy. And the isolate. Now let's check up and see what we actually have here. All right, that's fine. Oh boy, this actually does look really nice. Now, mm -hmm. it's a decent seating uh, for the bottom. And it goes hand in hand really well because what we have, I just unhide or not unhide, but hide the actual bar walls. So you can see inside, turn the knob, the windows, the doors. There we go. So now we have. Uh, what the? Why are you here? You should be in the windows, bars, and The windows and doors. There we go. So I go in here and add directive. Noise modifiers for what? For the seating? Dude, this is not even finished. This is so far, think of it as a LOD3. Or, oh hell, I keep forgetting that uh, you guys haven't really used uh, Unreal. Uh, think of this as the raw form. This is just so it kind of gives me an idea on what to expect, but this is going to have to be refined. For example, like you see this thing, this was refined. So we get all of those uh, details in here. Hell, even this is not really, really well just refined, but still we have some details. In here, at the moment as it is, this is a really nice uh, model if I just want to show off uh, where this thing is going to be or how big this thing is going to be as it is but this is going to be changed we're going to have to be uh, a bit more pragmatic with the modeling i cannot leave it like this this is way too low quality but for now i'm just going to leave it as it is okay so now what i'm stuck with is actually i have the the bottom floor or the first floor pretty much set up we have some really decent seating. You can sit some people down. You can move out from here, there. Hola, Carlos. Batas. Second floor is fine. It's starting to look. Okay, so here's what's on the to-do list. We have to create one uh, pool table, like the one that I have, so this is the size. I'm gonna have to create some, uh, well, this is actually gonna be the bathroom. So we're gonna have to create something for the bathroom. And then comes the interesting part in which we're gonna start 
to add in details. Oh, and another thing. Uh, another thing is that I'm gonna have to go in here and actually create walls for the uh, inside of the, the bar because I really don't want to have that uh, um, metallic shipping container on the inside look. I want to have that thing on the outside. Okay, so let's me just do this. I'm gonna unhide everything so I can get a better look at what, how this thing looks like. And now start cleaning this thing up. So the main container should not be there. Uh, full walls, now the doors, front door, no. The solar panel, no. Steel beams. Alright, I got those inside. I'll do that on the outside. Okay. Okay, slowly we're starting to build this thing up. Ah, here's what I need to do. I need to cut into the holes for these guys, for windows. All right, so let's do that thing. So we get that thing, that thing, that thing, this thing. Now let's see how we project the holes. Now, uh, another thing that I want to do is get uh, this shape to project on top of this. So, project, project. Shape merge, shape merge, shape merge. Yeah, shape merge. And go pitch. No, oh, Big shape or not? What the hell? What was the? Mm, no, I don't want to do this thing with pro bullion because pro bullion is really going to give me some crappy looks here. But uh, let's just ah. Subtraction. No. I go. Mm. Okay. You know what? Fine. Yeah, was it conform? actually had this thing in one of the tutorials that I've done previously and here I am like I need to go in and try to find my own goddamn tutorial so I can see how this looks like. So, conform, no oh, this is not conform, so we just need to cut out, project this, you know what, Fine. Let's do it like this. Why do we make everything uh, complicated? We can be just simple. Okay, that. Put it inwards. Put it down. There is center. Let it poly. Attach. 
Ah. Probably subtraction, start picking, and pick. Boom. Added poly. Since I don't need all of this extra stuff. And the isolate. Boom. We got the cuttings for the holes. I'm, uh, I just forgot something. Before I do that, I'm going to take this, put it in a copy there. Now pull Boolean, start thinking. Uh, you have to be really, really uh, more descriptive as to what you mean by best computer. Okay. Dude, there's a lot of videos on YouTube. Kind of depends on what you need. I think I just screwed up something. What the hell? Ah. <sighs> this is where you have to be very, very careful when you're attaching stuff. Sometimes you can select something. And when you attach everything together, you get a problem. No, uh, Linux tech tip. You don't you mean Linus? Uh, if you're going to be looking at Linus to get some uh, ideas to what kind of computer to buy, that would be a very bad idea because Linus likes to go overboard on things that you don't really need as a 3D artist. Boom, cut.
Move, double touch. I see this is one of those uh, things that are repetitive, but you just have to do it. It takes time, and the great and the greatest thing uh, when you're working on a project, you have a manager that really doesn't know what what you're doing, and they come in uh, your office, and you've been like staring at this sort of a screen, and they come in like an hour later and they see you exactly at the same place well at least that's what he thinks and how do you explain to him that you have just spent about half an hour trying to cut holes into the walls The only thing that I can give you as an advice when you're buying a computer, know just one thing. A computer or the best computer out there will not make you a better uh, modeler. So yeah. No delete. Uh, the reason for I'm not using array for the cloning is that uh, the distance between these uh, windows is different on each floor or in each or in each place. Hence, I have to go in and manually uh, place it for the actual size of the pencils. And since I have a frame, it's really easy and convenient for me to place it wherever I need it. No, just like those two. Uh, go Boolean, start thinking. Add a poly, delete that thing. Boom, done. Who's your daddy? Okay. That's fine. Alright, so now I have this place here, which is a nice uh, cent central uh, place that I can put the name of the bar on there, or I can put it also on the uh, back side of this place. Hmm, interesting. I'll see which side we roll with. So the top is. Okay, it's decent enough. The bottom, we start green stuff. We have. <laughs> Dude, I know that. Uh, it's really interesting the fact if you have a manager that really doesn't know what you're doing and how much time it usually takes when you do stuff. Oh snap, I think this thing is supposed to be a bit taller. So let's try and do that thing. So, Z up. Is better. How do you mean how it did the curtains? Good. Uh, we did the curtains on the last stream, so just go over on the YouTube channel. And check out the stream. You're gonna see me do uh, like everything you see in here, like everything has been uh, created on uh, the stream live. 
I didn't cheat or anything. I didn't take any of the elements that I had uh, previously created because if I had uh, like picked up stuff that I had created in the past, this would have been a lot, a lot faster. I wouldn't have had to like spend this much time because I have a bunch of chairs and tables and stuff I've done for bars and clubs. So I would, I would be able to do that, uh, like this thing a lot faster. But everything you see in here is actually modeled on li uh, live on stream. I'm not touching this scene. I'm not touching anything if I'm not alive. There you go. Okay, so it's fine. Hmm. I have to see something about this. All right. Top here is fine. So now I select both of these and I'm going to get on the flooring. All right. I mean do I use Unwrap UV to textures and material based only? Uh, in here, at the moment, nothing is unwrapped except the one uh, chair that we actually made it so it's ready for Unreal. So I haven't done much unwrapping except on like that stream that we spent about almost two hours trying to get everything done. <sighs> okay, now uh, here comes the interesting part i want to create walls for the inner part now what i mean by this so i'm going to select just this and i'm going to take a plane go from side to side like that and actually you know what easier way would be to select that thing and create a shape. Smooth, I guess. Okay. Select the shape. Oh, snap. No. Actually, you know what? Select those. That's fine. That's fine. Convert those into corners. I will not be. All of these in the middle. So control by space or delete. Uh, okay. Hmm, isolate. Okay. Hmm. Make a cleaner on the Y. Why am I just trying to complicate simple stuff again? No. Isolate, make a new plane. There we go. And in here, go and edit poly. Put one right here. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna go and get a circle. Mm, increase radius. Should have made this a round number. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Ah, this is close enough. Oh, no, wait. Five, fine. 
this thing and then with this, I know exactly how. Okay, so I want to have one division in here. And the reason for this division is gonna be, uh, I wanna have one type of a material on the, the base. Like this can be that wooden uh, uh, base for the wall. And the top can have some sort of a, well, a wallpaper. All right, so now I'm going here, convert to a spline and attach all of these splines together. No calculation. Yeah, that's better. Three, that's much better. Okay, so add poly, add the shell. Do the same thing with what we did previously. So let's try with the turbo smooth. Not the turbo one, but the sheep, ah, probably. And see how big of a cluster of craft this thing is going to give me. And not, not too bad. Doing that. Uh, one thing about uh, using probolean is that at least one of the edges needs to uh, come to the edge here to the corners like that so once i put an uh, actual uh any anything on top of this is that gonna screw up the whole thing there we go so fine so rotate this thing 180 degrees uh, okay just flip it around there we go, now it's on the inside. And select those corners for the wall, for the, whatever. There we go, okay. Awesome. Like I said, we wanna have one Edge, but now since we did have a cut in there, we're gonna have to do the slicing with uh, the slice plane. Move this thing downwards. Oh, no. Rotate it around. 90 degrees, move it downwards, and to about there. Yep, that's gonna work. Slice. Ooh, actually, before I do the slicing, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to create something, some uh, box. And this box here is going to give me the height so I know how big this thing is going to be later on. And the height for this is going to be what? Let me see. So 80 centimeters. All right. So 80 centimeters is fine. Now, like I said, go slice plane. Slice. Cut off the slice plane. There we go, that's fine. We can drag it up to there, so now I know exactly where the height is. It's fine, so now I can just go and connect that thing here, remove. Oh no, or not. Cut. Cut. Really? You're gonna do that? Fine. Okay, try it more. There. It's no longer an issue. Hmm. Try to roll that thing to this side. And why do I have these guys in here? That's I'm totally unneeded. Go 
Oh, black space. Oh, what the hell. Okay, stay like that. Extra vertices. Control back space. Ah, damn it. Good. Fine. Oh, this is beyond what the hell is going on. You know what? Fine. If Max likes to play it this way, I can always just go and do this plane. I know for I went from there to there. Boom, you're done. I was gonna make it a, like to play a part of the same thing, but I just have another one. And everything is fine. So on top of this. Now I can use the floor generator and get some planks in here, like that. There you go. Just create a nice little like this 25, that's fine. Uh, what's the width? What's the width? Yeah. The thing is fine and isolate. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. We're starting to get somewhere. That wall in here can be a different color. But for now I just want to get it. White look. Oh yeah, so we still have that predominant wooden uh, interior. Uh, we're starting to break it, in, uh, breaking it up, because uh, what we can do here is we can actually, in all of this wood that we have around, we can actually start adding in some color by adding in. Uh, wallpapers to these walls and that is going to break up that uh like i said predominantly wooden uh, interior it's going to look something like similar what we saw on some of the yeah see even here which is a more classy bar they have a lot of uh wood but even they are breaking up that wooden uh yeah, decor with some color let's see yeah see over here they're breaking up that wooden decor with some different colors. Even here, no wood on the backs. Here, everything is wooden. Here, they're breaking it up with uh, stone. But then again, this is not a boat. So, yeah. See here, this is what I meant. Uh, one sort of a material on the bottom, a second type on the second floor. Or not the second floor, but the, on the second part of the thing. So we're trying to get some uh, difference in whatever the, that we're doing. Oh, this is a nice chandelier. Look at this thing. Hmm. Okay. Ah, it's here. Fine. Right. I thought that I had somehow managed to. Right. I thought that I had somehow managed to delete my wall, which would have sucked. And uh, so uh, no more. Not needed. No, this is the box. It's not needed. 
Okay. So what I do need to do is select that thing, select this thing, and move them on the Y a bit. So move them on the Y for like what, like two centimeters? There you go. So it's no longer clipping on the same plane with the exterior of the walls. So we're gonna have to go actually do that thing for the entire bar because at the moment as things are everything is uh, on the interior it has the same cover as uh, the exterior. This uh, way that I just created and we can have a different interior for the bar. Okay Anyways, uh, this is going to be a bit of a repetitive work to do. I have to do the same thing for this wall, this wall, and this wall, but I will cover up the top floor and then for the bottom floor we're going to have to do something similar. I know for a fact that uh, these walls here, I want to have some different uh, setup for the bottom and add in some difference for the holders here on the windows. Uh, all right, anyways, I'm almost running out of time, so I don't want to start working on something too big. That is going to take a lot of time. Just trying to like go over and see, at least make a plan on what to do on the next string. But from what I'm seeing, the only thing that I'm missing here is put in some stuff for the kitchen up here, and then put some stuff for the bathroom down on the uh, first floor. So, in here. so for the bathroom I'm going to need, first things first, is I'm going to need a door in here. And once we have the door, we can just uh, go in and put some stuff. I think that uh, in one of the previous streams, I'm going to have to check it and see what happened. But I think somebody had given me a Pinterest link with a lot of uh, interesting stuff into it. So I'm happy to check and see if I can find some interesting uh, additions to for the bathroom. And then the last thing that's going to be left is to go in and actually add in some paraphernalia and some uh, things that would give this place a bit of a character. You know, like uh, that uh, steering. Uh, the steering wheel uh, that bolts have. Uh, and bye bye, Carlos. And yeah, so that's gonna take a bit of time. Uh, anyways, since I pretty much uh, rounded up some of the stuff for the top, oh yeah, and the lights. The lights are gonna be a big part of this thing because I wanna get that uh, really rustic look that you would get on a ship. So we're gonna have some modeling there as well. And here's another thing that I kind of thought about it is the environment. Like which sort of an environment I would put this thing in. And I came to an interesting conclusion is I don't want to put this thing on a, a street where you get like a lot of different buildings because then I would have to model different buildings and that would take additional time and I don't want to do that. I don't want to just render it out simple as it is. I thought about a beach as well. That could be interesting but it eh, has the, the same uh, issue. I'm going to have to make an uh, environment. And then I came to an interesting idea. And that is going to be how to present this. Now, the presentation was a bit interesting because I saw this thing uh, from a different guy that uh, did this. But what they did is they basically made it so that your scene is basically in a rainstorm. So you can walk around, it's raining a lot. And you can just, when you're walking around and you can see in the distance, all you can see is just like fog, but that fog is due to like the heavy rain. I like that idea a lot because it's, even though it's a very simple idea, 
it can take some time to get it done. So I might go with that one, we'll see. This thing is fine. And if nothing else uh, works, I'm just gonna say screw it, make a beach, and make this thing a fun place. The thing with the, the drawback with making this thing uh, or making this bar in a rainy uh, fashion or a rainy uh, setup is that it's gonna be a lot darker on the inside. So it's gonna have to be on a different set of lighting to make it like feel warm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, we've been going on for almost two hours today, and we made some progress on overall on the top uh, floor. Uh, we fixed up some of the stuff for the bottom floor. So the only thing that's left is do the bathroom uh, from the rooms and the kitchen. And that shouldn't take too much. So if anybody has any ideas as to what sorts of uh, things we should put in the bathroom or what sorts of things we should put inside the kitchen, leave your comments on the video below. I will check them out. And next stream, we can continue at have some fun with this thing and hopefully uh, get this thing to the second phase in which we're gonna start to basically refine this make sure everything is tight everything is fine and we can start getting it ready to render it because so far we've just been modeling and positioning stuff around and this is where we are anyways I would like to thank everybody that was with me today I did have some fun with, with you guys uh, we, like I said, we already made some good progress on this thing. So in a couple of more streams, I think we can actually finish up this scene. So that would be it for today. And if anybody's got anything to say or anything to add, now would be the best time to add it. If not, we can just say goodbye and I will see you all in the next stream. So go for it. Give me all two minutes. Say what you want. If you want to add something, go for it. Yeah, see, see you later. Bye bye. And thank you. I, I can work with that. Hey, Lucas. <laughs> oh man. Am I using weighted normals? Uh, what's a weighted normal? What do you mean weighted normals? Thanks, Ferdy. Thanks, Lucas. Ten beer. That was a weighted normal. Oh, actually, this is a pretty good question. Uh, how do you guys like these streams, these live streams? Are they fun? Are they interesting? Are they uh, actually the uh, thing that I want to learn uh, the most is are uh, these uh, streams actually helping you learn something new? Avin, uh, I cannot transfer anything to I cannot transfer anything to Unreal unless everything is finished in here. Oh, dude, I do, uh, Pradeep, I do not know SketchUp. Ah, no, uh, Tanvir, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, I'm not using uh, weighted normals for that uh, thing. What I do have is uh, over here, like 
for example, if you want to see how that uh, look is being uh, gotten, it's all about smoothing normals. Nope, I do not do blender. I have a profound uh, respect for people using blender. But for me personally, when you start mixing the left and the right button, uh, that's where you lose me. When I have to click right click to select stuff, and left click to deselect stuff, it's, you know, that's when I stopped uh, using Blender. But yeah, Blender is amazing. I've seen people do some amazing stuff. Uh, in UE4, um, well, texturing this, would probably be me taking uh, all of these as uh, individual assets. For example, uh, one of the chairs that we already did, like uh, this thing here, this is actually the low poly version of the uh, chair. Uh, it's, well, it's not that low, but still 20K uh, polygons. This was baked uh, from, uh, this was baked in a in inside, uh, Substance Painter, all the textures were uh, created and then everything was imported into Unreal. So, yeah, no, no, I'm not using tiling materials, but if we want to use the tiling materials, we can, because this has been uh, unwrapped properly. So if you check the UV editor for this thing, you're gonna see that everything in here is unwrapped and really packed well so there are no overlapping uvs as you can see over here and this was all done on stream so if you want to check out that thing go ahead and check that stream i think it was like two streams ago so you can if you wish you can go inside unreal and give uh, individual pieces individual ids There we go. You can give them individual IDs, and with the individual IDs, you can um, basically have uh, different material for it. Here is the thing inside Unreal. And when you get to it, you can actually see all of the things that we did. Even the bolts have nice, uh, the ropes, everything in here is baked in. And this is without actually having uh, done anything to the light doesn't even have uh, baked lights and it does have a second UV uh, channel for the lights so everything is going to work just fine when we put this thing inside. Uh, dude, uh, when you're asking inside Unreal for uh, better for the dynamic lighting or static, it, it's how things are going to uh, basically be used inside the scene. For example, uh, if I go ahead and I drop in a light, like every light inside Unreal. So if I go and put a spotlight like that, you can select if this thing is going to be static, stationary, or movable. But all of these have a different uh, price for uh, how much they're gonna take up from your uh, responsiveness or how much they're gonna be optimized and how they're gonna be baked in. Static lights are always, like it, it, it even says, fully baked lighting is fastest for rendering, but the problem with this is that you cannot move stuff. Like this can, light cannot be moved. Like this is a great light to have if you have an actual uh, room light that it's shining downwards like for example if I uh, have some sort of a, let's say like this there's some lighting source on this side and another one over here I can put both of these as static lights and they're gonna be really fast to uh, bake in all the details but you will not be able to move them around 
If you take a stationary light, again, you cannot move it, but it will allow for partially baked lighting and dynamic shadows for movable objects. So if you like move stuff around, it will interact with the shadows. And the last one is the uh, most expensive one, but it will be totally dynamic. The whole scene will have dynamic shadows, but it will be uh, slowest to like render. So there is no like proper choice between what you want to like select static, stationary, movable. It all kind of depends on what you want to do with it. But that's for a whole different stream. That's what I'm saying this thing. Anyways, uh, like I said, uh, one more time, thank you for everybody that was with me today. I will try my best to maybe, if everything is uh, okay, maybe squeeze in one more stream on Saturday. If not, I will see you all back on Tuesday and hopefully I will have most of you come and join me again. So for now, that would be it. And all I can say is bye-bye, everybody.